Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, spiritual leader Dr. Uzi Lezwe, uh, Samuel Khatebe, regarded as a high-level spiritual guide or imboni by his followers, has put together a book called Introduction to African Indigenous Spirituality. It seeks to differentiate between religion, universal spirituality, and African indigenous spirituality. The book was launched at the VNA Waterfront in Cape Town last month and recently in Johannesburg. Well, Dr. Khatebe joins us now virtually to tell us more. Sir, a very good morning to you. A warm welcome to uh, Morning Live. I suppose we should first start with a definition, uh, in fact, of what African spirituality is and why there's a, that blurred line that goes into why it's also uh, referred to as religion as well. Yeah, good morning, morning, uh, Levo. Good morning to your, your viewers as well. Let me first correct it. The book was not put together by uh, my followers, but it was put together by uh, my research institution uh -huh. called African Hidden Voices. Yeah, um, yeah, very good question. Always asked uh, this question. African indigenous spirituality, as you can hear the word, it begins with African, meaning that it's, it's birthed in Africa. Second, indigenous, meaning that it's, it's indigenous to Africa. This was our way of life uh, before religions came to Africa. We need to, to remember and we need to emphasize that religion uh, came to Africa. Africa was not a religious continent before, but religions came uh, into Africa and made African the continent to become religious. So African indigenous spirituality is our way of a uh, connection I'm sorry about that. I don't know where it's from. Um, so it was our way of uh, communication, uh, spiritual speaking. When we connect with our creator and when we also uh, connect with our, uh, uh, what we call the Zita in the African context. Uh, yeah, let me try to wrap up that one first. So I said, um, remember that, uh, the uh, African, African continent was a spiritual continent and not a religious continent. And as I said in my introduction that um, uh, my research, I have a research institution, so I'm talking about research matters here, factual matters. Religion came to Africa or religions came uh, to Africa. It was not a religious continent. And so when you say African indigenous spirituality, you are talking African, meaning that this practice or spiritual practices were birthed in Africa. When you talk about indigenous, you are saying that they are indigenous to Africa. They are not borrowed. They did not come, uh, but they were birthed in Africa. And then you talk about spirituality. Spirituality, uh, again, it's what's the difference between spirituality and religion? Spirituality, uh, religion is taught. Uh, religion was formed by men. It's a fact, research fact. Religion were, religions were formed by men about God or about spiritual matters. But spirituality was not created by men. Spirituality is as old as humans are and earth is. It's something that we're giving. Every human, we are spiritual people. So when we talk about spirituality, is a spiritual conscious person who knows how to activate uh, their spirituality in order to connect with other spiritual entities. First being the supreme being, that is the creator, others say God, um, and also other spiritual entities that exist uh, below the supreme spiritual being. So that's what spirituality means. So religion is a, it's a way of man that was crafted and created about spiritual matters. Uh -huh. What does this book offer to people who may not know? Yeah, it offers exactly that. It, 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 it offers um, uh, it offers it offers a clarity on those matters. Uh -huh. It makes people aware. It makes people understand matters of spirituality uh, so that people can differentiate uh, this book does not ex uh, 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 intend to convert people to anything. And sometimes, especially religious people, unfortunately, they always feel attacked or feel probably they are being converted to something. No, it has nothing to do about conversion. 
But this book wants to clarify so that a person can have a conscious mind and decision. Especially, Lebo, remember that if you talk about colonization in the political context, uh, there are others who, who says that uh, colonization was actually a good thing. It civilized us, which is a lie. If you talk about civilization, Africa was ahead of civilization. But also, we are also being told that we were, you know, uh, these uh, 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 people who never knew God, were not spiritual people, and religion came and also helped us and connected us with, uh, with the creator, with God. Yeah. So, in other words, uh, that's a lie. We, we, we were spiritual people. We knew who the yeah. creator was. We, we know how to connect to our spiritual beings before religion came. Yeah. All right. Dr. Khatebe, unfortunately, we have come to the end of the pro, uh, to the interview, but thank you so much for speaking to us. He was speaking to us about uh, his book titled uh, African Indigenous Spirituality. All right.